I'm joined exclusively by the leader of Venezuela's parliament, which is controlled by the opposition. Julio Borges, welcome. Can you explain to us um, how likely is it that President Maduro will succeed in rewriting the constitution? Well, listen, uh, one week ago, we have a, a huge and beautiful demonstration from Venezuelan people. 7,500,000 Venezuelans go to the streets in a very peaceful way in order to cast a vote to say to Maduro's government and to the world that we don't want an a constitutional assembly called unilateral by Maduro. So what we want right now in Venezuela is very simple, but very deep. We want free elections according to the current constitutions. And what we want is that Maduro has to respect the current constitution. Maduro is out of the constitution right now, and the whole world and the whole Venezuelan people is pushing him in order to, to follow the rule of law, the check and balance, and the values of democracy in Venezuela. Uh, it has seemed to me that while uh, Hugo Chavez, his predecessor, was able to rule with a certain kind of populist charm, with a lot of oil money, those in, in those days oil prices were high, Maduro has ruled much more using force, using the army. Uh, are you worried that there could be some kind of an almost civil war-like atmosphere developing in, in Venezuela? Well, I don't think that we are close to a civil war in Venezuela, because a civil war is supposed to have two equal or more or less equal bands. That is not the case in Venezuela. What we want in Venezuela, what we have in Venezuela right now, is the whole country, the whole democratic people in Venezuela, which is 90 percent of the population, against a minority who is in power right now, and it has no respect for the law has no respect for the economy, has no respect for human rights. So there is no uh, a divided uh, society in Venezuela right now, and it was when Chavez was alive. Things are changed in Venezuela dramatically. What we have right now is uh, the whole country looking for democracy, looking for an open economy, looking for social justice, and this is right now what Maduro wants to stop in order to be in power all the time that he can to be in power, without no rules and without no, no, no control over, over, the, over power. What would you like to see from the United States and specifically from Donald Trump? Well, we, we have been calling to the international community, not only the United States, Latin American, the European Union, the Vatican, the United States, the, the whole democratic community in the world. And, and we are calling for this week, which is crucial for Venezuela, in order to, to go with us, pushing Maduro, in order to stop the Constitutional Assembly, in order to stop the Constitutional Assembly, in order to open a space for a real and deep negotiation with the participation of the international community and, 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 and to build uh, a, a, a real agreement in which we can go to the people in order to ask for a, a new government, a new, uh, even a new parliament, whatever it means to go to real elections in Venezuela and, and to, to go out to this crisis, to this violence that we are living right now. One of the tragedies that I've been watching is that you have uh, millions of Venezuelans, uh, maybe tens of thousands at least, uh, hundreds of thousands fleeing. Uh, and, and you have this strange uh, example of Venezuelans migrating to other countries. I say strange because, as you know, for many, many decades, it was people from all over Latin America who would, who would flee their countries and come to Venezuela. They would flee uh, bad, uh, oppressive or populist regimes yeah. from other countries and come to Venezuela. And it's now Venezuelans leaving. Do you worry that the economy is in such bad shape at this point that it's in a kind of free fall? Uh, 
Yeah, what, what you're telling is, is a real, very important because Venezuela is not only a Venezuelan problem right now. It goes abroad our borders and uh, it's a regional problem. We have almost half a million Venezuelan people in Colombia. Uh, in the case, for example, of Florida, in the election that we made last, last Sunday, almost uh, uh, 300,000 uh, Venezuelan vote. Uh, there were voting Venezuelan people all over 300 uh, cities all over the world. And uh, we, we, we have become, unfortunately, a country that is expelling out Venezuelans to other countries. And this is part of the, the, the thing that we are uh, not only a regional problem, but a global problem. And we need the help to other democracies in order to change where we are living right now in Venezuela and to become not a second Cuba, but a modern country open in a democratic way with very social justice and with opportunity for all.